Hey guys, uh, welcome back. So look what I have. I have gotten uh, this before. Not this particular gold edition, but I have the Castle Arts regular 120 set in a, a zipper case like this. And it was fabulous. I took it on a trip with me. I went up when I, me and my husband were going up to my daughter's wedding and I didn't have to, you know, put it in another, take them out of the tin and put them in a case. I just grabbed the case and, you know, went, which was really great. Um, so, but I have been told by various sources that these are actually, I mean, the castle arts, the regular ones are actually really good for being a budget pencil they're good um but i've i've heard that these are actually really good uh they're even better now they had these in a tin that was really like this but super decorative and it like sold out and it hasn't come back yet but we are going up to my daughters and son-in-laws and my new grandsons for Christmas and I thought this would be great to take with me now this is huge look how big this case is you see how thick that is and it's heavy too y'all I'm gonna take this out it's heavy like, this is how it came basically uh, you know in the box of course but this is how mine came but this thing is heavy, guys. It, it, it probably weighs... <sighs> I know my other set is not nearly as bulky as this, so it may only be the 72 set because it's not nearly this big. Um, I got it upstairs. It's like I, I keep it for when I go on trips. Um, this is heavy, guys. It's probably at least two pounds two to three it maybe two to three pounds it's pretty heavy guys it, it weighs weighs a good bit so let me make sure my you guys can say okay there we go all right so it comes in this little i don't know paper thing that it's supposed to slide off, and I would like to slide it off. Sorry, I gotta push it against me. I guess it just kind of decorates it up and then helps it stay together. Makes a nice little. Anyway, hold on to that. Oh, now I will say that um, this that the case kind of smells a little weird. Okay, so I'm not gonna lie, the case smells a little funky. Um, it's like, I don't know, it's, it's, you might want to air this out a little bit. It does smell a bit funky. So, before I do a swatching later, I will tell you this, that, um, <clears throat> this chart, I did make up myself. Um, it holds about 48 to a page. I made this up on... Excel or Word, I forget. Well, I think Word. Um, <clears throat> Excel gives me migraines. <laughs> um, so if anybody wants this, um, you know, I have no problems because it shows the color name and number here, or the name and then the number, and then the swatch, and then it repeats. Now, I, I really don't want to see this, you know, copied and put up for free on like Pinterest or something because I worked really hard on it so if you guys want it I might have like a watermark behind it or something like that just to protect it but um, I would be happy to share this for free I have no problem with that just give me credit when you use it that's all I ask so yeah but otherwise it's I, I'm more than happy to share it has worked out pretty well for me for most things. I like my swatch colors on the right, not the left. And most uh, swatch charts that I've seen that are available for free are 
um, the color swatch is on the left. And I, I don't know, for whatever reason, I just don't like that. So, anyway, let's put that away for now. And then I have my handy dandy little pencil holder. Would you believe I got this at the dollar store, guys? <laughs> Yeah, it's pretty great. And it comes apart, so if you need to take it apart, these these all come out dollar store. So, anyway. Whew. Okay. So, make sure you guys can see. Okay. So, let's set that aside for a minute. Alright. Oh, okay. And as you can see, this, this, this part is just plain with Castle Arts at the logo at the bottom. I mean, bear my... Oh, wow. Well, look at that. Huh. Look at this. Oh, look at this, guys. Check it out. No wonder it's so bulky and heavy. Look at all this paper. This... Right here was from Arteza. This owl was used on the Arteza but tin. I, I, I'm telling you, or something very close to it was on the Arteza's uh, tin. Look at all this paper! <gasps> wow! Look, look, no wonder it's so heavy. No wonder it weighs like three pounds. Oh my gosh, you guys, look at this. This is... Um, sketch paper which is fairly thin usually um 118 which is actually pretty pretty decent um this is about 130 and it is cartridge white cartridge paper hmm. maybe and then paper let's see bristol board which is 250 this is probably like the uh, heavy card stuff stuff and then this is the black paper, which is 135. No wonder this thing weighed a freaking ton. Wow. Look at that. Wow. Cool, right? <laughs> and no wonder that thing weighed a ton. Oh, my goodness. So, join the Castle Club. I highly recommend this. It's actually, it's kind of fun. I'm a part of the this Castle Club. And occasionally they do fun little contests and... Uh, stuff like that, you know, it's a, for a budget pencil. It is very decent. I don't do many budget pencils anymore because most of them, I cannot stand them. They just sharpen so wonky. It, it's just, I can't like art and fly, magic fly. I can't do that crap. I just, I can't do it anymore. There's budget and then there's like garbage budget. <laughs> These are good budget. Um, so anyway, there's that. I, I recommend it. And it's just, um, let's see, there's the, uh, link. Hopefully you can, hopefully you can read that. Do, do, do. There. Um, so there's that. And then there is color and product guide. Oh. Smells a little weird. Don't don't freak out. The smell is a bit funky. Ooh, look at that. Okay, yeah, this definitely smells a little weird, like that that plasticky kind of smell. It, this will smell a little weird. I'm sorry, I have a very sense of sense of smell, so it, you'll air it out and it'll be fine. So, look at this. Wow. And then the pastel colored pencils are over here by themselves. Um, oh, wow. Look at all of that. Huh. I wonder if there's any more to it. Nope, I guess not. So these are the pastels. I think these are separate, though. There's the metallic set up there. And then the regular set here. Wow. Let's see what else we got here. Uh, talks about the product range. Oh, there's they have two watercolor and uh, acrylic paint. I did not know that actually. 
And they have drawing pencils too, by the way. I have not tried these. I don't really draw much. But as you can see, they do, they do have the dry, you know, graphite type pencils. They do have that. I didn't know they had the, the paint though. Huh. And this one just talks about like product details. Um, uh, the, let's see. How the barrels labeled, uh, the, the, let's see, the watercolor pencil, the pastel tint pencils, the metallic pencils, the woodless ones, and it, go, it kind of goes on down the lines, and the soft touch up here, and then go, and then the regular, and just kind of talks a little bit about each. But back over here, look at all that, you guys. Wow. That is crazy. Hmm. That's nice. I'm definitely, definitely holding on to this. That is really nice. So, wow. You know, no wonder this thing weighed a ton. I bet you, hold up. Look at that. It weighs about a pound now. Whereas with all of this, I mean, yeah, it adds at least an extra pound uh, in paper. I mean, this is crazy. And it all says Castle Arts at the top. Oh, no wonder the thing was so heavy. <laughs> oh, wow. Anyway, I'm still a little, Lord. Um, I'm not sure why I have two books. I mean, I don't know if they're the same thing. Wait, hold up a second. Do I have two books? Wait. I'm sorry, I'm not sure what's happening here. Um, this is my first time opening all this, so my other Castle Arts thing, uh, the regular zipper one like this, didn't come with any of this stuff. So I'm a little out of my element here. Oh my gosh, I know you guys can't see all of this, but wow, this is cool. I, I wish you, I wish I could zoom out big enough for you guys to see all of this. Um, Look at all that. I mean, that's just, wow, that's cool. There's all kinds of little, like, um, like if you wanted to do this eye, there's, uh, the colors you would need. And for um, the strawberry right here, the chocolate strawberry, it gives you the color list. And it does it for each one of these little things. Uh, it gives you like a color list with the color swatch. Wow, see them up here. That is uh, so cool. Wow. I'm genuinely sort of floored. Um, and then there. Oh, so I think I know what this was, you guys. Um, this I think was the, I think this here that I opened up a minute ago, I think this was the watercolors. Oh, it says pencil colors, watercolor, gold range. No, I, hmm, I don't know. No, no, maybe. I'm not sure. Huh. But anywho, there's this. Uh, the gold standard section of fi the, our finest quality. And there's more right here. Huh. I don't know it's the same thing. Hmm. Wow. This is cool, guys. I mean, I'm going to open this again. Oops, uh, not upside down, though. Look at all that. I don't know if I can zoom out enough for you guys to see all of this, but look at that cool is that? <laughs> wow. That is cool. <laughs> that is so cool. I am definitely holding on to that. Wow. This just keeps getting better and better, guys. Uh, let's see what this is. Uh, 
on, let's see, gold standard selection. Da -da -da. It has a little, you know, list of everything that's in the book. Um, I have a set, of, uh, I have this, guys, that thing right there. I didn't get it from the Castle Arts, but you see that, uh, that wood drawer box up there? I have one of those. And it is phenomenally cool. I put my chalk pastel pencils and sticks in, in it, and it keeps them from, uh, you know, getting all messed up. I have this, too. <laughs> and that's also really good. I don't have it from them, but still, I have some, a version of that, and it's very cool. This is, let's say, low, talks about low pressure, uh, freeze and heat. I'm not sure what that means. Huh. Uh, it talks about, uh, oh, different ways you could hold your pencil. The dynamic tripod, the lateral tripod, the dynamic quad pod lateral quadrupod loosen grip loosen grip is the best for if you're just doing light layers but wow look at this this book is amazing now it has the color wheel or version of it i have one also but it's like super huge guys <laughs> if i can find it it's really big uh, oh of course it's gonna play hide and seek on me of course it is <sighs> anyway, all right, so, and it talks about tints and tones and shades and stuff. That's a whole another topic. Wow, this is very cool, guys. This is, this is very cool. Putting on the pressure, that's also very cool. Different ways you can, um, like, this is cross-hatching, hatching, contour-hatching, um, different, you know, different ways you can do circular, um, scrumble. Yeah, there's all ways to color. Look at that. And it talks about what blending mediums. That's a whole other subject. Different perspectives you can draw with. Oh, no. Wow. That's a little above my league. Oh, wow. And this goes with that booklet that tells you what to use for each picture. And gives you tips on how to do it. Wow. And apparently this is art that has been done with these pencils. Yeah, I'm so not quite that good. Uh, wow. That's actually kind of amazing. I'm definitely keeping that too.
So I thought I would go over the pencil. I forgot to go over the pencils that I used. And to make a little edit uh, announcement. Um, in the beginning of the video, <coughs> excuse me, I showed a stencil that I had made up myself and I was going to use that. And I did swatch out the pencils in that, but, it, oh, and I found this, by the way. This is the, this is what went around the travel set of pencils. This is that cage that went around them. So, found that. Um, but I decided ultimately not to use them, use it because I just thought it was a little too messy. I do still have the blank stencil on un, unswatched. As you, this is the swatched version. I s decided not to um, use it just because I just thought it was a, a little. It's it's do, it's okay for me, but I thought it was a little too messy. But I have the blank um, stencil without the colors. I do still have that available with the color name number and you know all this stuff without all this stuff filled in. So I do still have that. If anybody wants that, I have no problem with that. Um, I just thought I would throw that out there. I was looking at and trying to organize the videos uh, uh, parts into you know a cohesive unit. And I thought I would kind of just throw that out there. I ended up using a blank template from Coloring Faithful Girl, um, i.e. B or Belinda, uh, because it was just, ended up being a lot neater. But these are the pencils that I used when I was coloring in the Johanna images. Um, I love this little container so much, you guys. <laughs> So, um, it was lemon yellow, and I apologize for the reflection. Um, there's just nothing I can do about it. The, the, the names are highly reflective, and um, it just it makes it very hard for my phone to f capture the words. You know what I mean? It's really annoying. That's why I like the new Starjoy golds that Lori helped design, because... These, this part right here is stamped in and, um, well, these are two actually, but they're not metallic like these are. So they're a lot easier to read. Um, but I, anyway, I use lemon yellow, uh, cobalt turquoise, which is a gorgeous color, guys. Um, uh, let's see. Mulberry, great color. Uh, azalea pink. Cherry pink, this is another color, as you can tell, is a little short. Beautiful, beautiful mid-tone for layering. Honestly, it is a great, like, th these two colors together are absolute magic. The uh, cherry pink and um, the azalea, they're, they're absolutely gorgeous together. Uh, let's see, golden yellow, great blender color. Um... Naples Yellow Light, also a very good blender color. Uh, Aber, Aberging, Aberging. Um, good deep color. Azillion Crimson. Pardon me for butchering some of these names. I recognize them. I just don't know how to say some of them. Old Rose. Now this is in with um, some of the, like, uh, warmer grays and stuff. This is a actually a really gorgeous color. It really is. It's it's actually a really, really gorgeous color. Um, primary blue. Oops. Sorry. Uh, doo -doo. There we go. And cadmium green pale. Really nice color too. Uh, let's see. Scarlet red. Nice orange red. Uh, oxide of chrome sounds fancy, doesn't it? <laughs> um, permanent green. I use a lot of different colors. I'll tell you why in a minute. Castle green light. 
to do grenadine. As you can see, this is another color that's gotten short quick because I use it a lot. Um, magenta. Yeah, let's see. Uh, cerulean blue. Interesting color. It has I can tell that it has gray in it. Um, sorry, my table's not even. Um, purple lake deep. Ah. One of the hazards of having a uneven desk. Uh, let's see. Cadmium yellow light. Leaf green light. Marigold. Uh, Venetian blue. Very interesting color. Uh, mauve. Venetian blue deep. I will say this. I'm a little unhappy that the, the stuff's wearing off already on that one. Uh, cadmium yellow. Cadmium green. And as you can see, this is another one that's growing short. Ivory black. Interesting color. And it's called ivory black because it used to actually have ivory in it, believe it or not. Way back in the day. Hooker's green. Um, Bengal rose deep. A very good color. Um, juniper green. This is probably right here my most used green. As you can tell by how small it has gotten already. This is... By far and away one of the best colors for like a, a pine tree or um, something of that sort. This color, as, as you can tell how small it is, it's it's great. And then the white, very good white. This is, you see how small it is. Excellent white for a, um, for our oil bus pencil. Of course, I think I've said that already, but anyway. I repeateth myself. And I also use this um, Qua Noir, which is a great pencil in and of itself. Now, these pencils, um, some of the colors were used in uh, images that were off screen that I didn't color on screen and some were off screen. But these are all the colors that I used in, <laughs> as you can see, it's like a lot. And the reason being is because when you color, you really wanna have to create a, a depth and not have things look flat. You wanna have your light tone, your mid tone, and then your deepest tone. And so, for example, um, here, I have, this is my dark, and then I would pick out a mid-tone, which would be something in the vicinity of, I think there was, uh, trying to find it, like this, the juniper, and this is the oxide of chrome. And then you would pick out a light. And I think I used this one. And then this one is like cadmium green pale. So you would have your light, your me your medium, and then your dark. And that gives you depth. And it's the same way with, you know, any any color you choose, you could pick out um Purple Lake Deep, and then Mauve, and then see your um, Mulberry. So, you know, you got your light, your medium, your dark. And that's kind of how you get your depth. So, I just thought I would throw that in there. Okay, guys, so <clears throat> for the last leg of this video, that I'm primarily doing on these, I was waiting for this to come in because 
at the time I did my review, as you saw in the beginning of the video, on the um, the travel size, which I highly recommend if you're going on a trip. Pre-made case, already arranged in the case. Ta-da! So, and these are missing a lot of pencils because I have them in this handy dandy little container that I got at the Dollar Tree. And this part likes to come off. Whoopee! You know, I mean, I did get it at the dollar store, so what do you expect? But isn't it adorable? <laughs> Anyway, these are all the pencils that I used on the Johanna um, mini images. So, I that works for that. But, look. I, need, I realized I needed a backup set because some of these pencils tend to go very quickly. Um, I don't know if it's just that I use them more or... I'm not sure exactly. Um, I just know several of them were getting very small already. Um, I think these pencils could be a little longer, to be honest. Um, but I've got a couple that are already getting short. Um, I think they're in this pile. <laughs> Um, like my white is already almost gone and they actually have a really decent, um, white. It's, it's pretty good to be honest. Oh, something else. Yeah, let's see. Here it is. This is one of the colors that's already getting small. Um, sorry, I can't read the print. It's small. I have eyesight issues, guys. Sorry. Uh, magenta. As you can see, this is a popular color. It's a good blender color, it really is. It's a good mid-tone color. Um, highly recommend it. Um, anyway, so I decided to get a backup set. And this was out of stock for a long time. And I f when I finally saw that it was back in stock, I decided to wait. That's why my nails are different. To finish up the video with these so that I could show you guys these too. Um, and this is how it comes. With the uh, label on the outside, which is really cool. The other one had a label, but it was wrapped around, and I thought I kept it. Oh, hold on. It kind of wrapped around the, uh, this part of it. Um, hmm. I thought I kept it, but it's grown legs and walked away like a lot of things lately. Um, but I like how the box has, has this on it. Um, oh, and I don't need to do that. What am I doing? Uh-huh. <laughs> Not thinking with my whole brain, apparently. Yikes. Ugh. Well, that was just totally unnecessary. All right. <laughs> Whoops. Sorry, guys. Hold on. Let me pop this sucker out. Oh, and upside down. Oh, isn't that beautiful, guys? Now, the label. I wish I could find that label. Because the label for these had this, like, wrapped around it. I, I think you, you should see it in the beginning of the video. It sh I, st I opened it, uh, uh, I showed it unopened, um, and it should have all that on it, so hopefully that's there. Um, but yeah, isn't this gorgeous? Oh, I hope I didn't. Because this is a tin I will definitely keep. This is my backup set, because these do not, I don't think, come in open stock. So, I'm going to very carefully... Open these up. Oh, good. I didn't scratch it. I absolutely adore the artwork on this. Um, and so when I saw that these were back in stock, I was like, oh, yeah. <laughs> Backup set and a gloriously gorgeous one at that. I mean, I love, 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 love this artwork. It's, it's stunning. Honestly, for a, a budget pencil. 
Um, now, as I said in the beginning of the video, that one of the differences between these and the um, the regular soft touch is that these are oil based, whereas the soft touch original one, premium ones are um, just straight wax. So um, let's see how these look because I I had I hadn't originally planned on doing that this. But then when I realized I was going to need a backup set for these, um, I was like, I'm going to add this in. Um, and, uh, oh, wow. I got two. Uh, okay. Interesting. Oh, wow. Now, if I'm not mistaken, the travel size has something like this all but it's not in this kind of a booklet it's more in a like a foldable kind so that it will fit in the travel case uh, but it's very similar wow look at all this you guys look at that oops sorry i apologize for the occasional glare from my ring light um i don't know wow Yeah, it smells weird. It has that new, I don't know, plasticky smell. I'm not sure what it is, but it doesn't smell too bad. Um, yeah, yeah, this definitely had something, the travel size definitely had something very similar to that. Um, and it had this too. Yeah, it was, it was like a little swatch type thing, I think. Yeah. And it was Fold, it was very similar to this. So that's good that they, they keep that this similar. Oops, 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 hold on. Let me fold this back up. All right. Oh, look at this, you guys. Oh, yeah. I highly recommend that, by the way. Um, and color and product guide. Take, eh. Eh, there's that. I think this was also in the tra uh, travel size one. The travel size one, though, I got the one with all the extra little small sized paper. Um, unknowingly, I might add. But still, that's for another day. Um, oh. This is cool, you guys. Look. Look at that. How about that? That's very cool, actually. Very nice. Pretty. Look at that. Pretty. I, th I would say out of the budget pencils, Castle Arts and the Black Widows are my favorites. Uh, of all the budget pencils, these two... Oh, sorry, hold on a second. Well, I guess that's as large as I can go. Sorry, guys. There we go. Um, these Castle Arts and Bu Black Widows are probably my favorite favorite budget pencils. The quality for the price is really good. Um, and so, I, you know, I belong to um, Black Widow Facebook group and I'll probably join a Castle Arts one. I just, my only, going through these <clears throat> particular pencils, my only gripes really are that some of them are, do sharpen kind of wonky. Not as bad as like Magic Fly and Art and Fly. Those are garbage. People do not get them. I, I'm telling you, they're garbage. They most of them sharpen wonky. I mean, you. I expect a few to sharpen wonky, even for a high-end budget pencil like Castle Arts. I I I expect that a, a few, but. Like some those two brands in particular were garbage. They just don't get them, people. Save yourself the money. It's they're not worth it. Now, having said that, um, these, well, a few do sharpen wonky. Not not all of them do. Like it's it's a reasonable number. Um, your white will the white is actually really good for being an oil based pencil it's it's not mushy like the prisma or the whole body. it's not going to be it's oil based but for an oil based white it, it's actually really good um you just have to handle these pencils differently um 
you know, oil-based and uh, all oil pencils like Faber-Castell, you have to treat them def differently. You, you can't color the same with them and expect, you know, the same results because it's not going to happen. You, you know, you have to just use a lighter hand and just be willing to layer more. So, having said that, I do like how they show this on the tin. Um, the travel size patch obviously doesn't, can't do that. Um, but again, this travel size pouch is amazing because, I mean, I, I, I took this on when I went up to see my daughters for Christmas and I just zipped it shut, took it with me and boom. I didn't have to mess with trying to find a case and get a case for it, and which is a separate purchase, you know, and yada, yada. It was just there. It was good, and I was gone. <laughs> you know, um, these I won't find a case for because they're my backup set. So, but, oh, they have the little handles. Um, I believe there was another set of pencils that had this kind of a little... I'll be a cheapy but handy handle. Um, very nice. And these are layered differently, ordered differently than in um, this. They are a little bit different, um, which is fine. Um, Ta da! So, yeah. But you will find some of these running slow. I highly recommend when you can to find a get a backup set because some of them do like that magenta i showed you especially if they're your favorite colors these two do tend to go kind of quickly some of them um especially the ones that sharpen a little wonky which is, there are a few uh, as i said earlier so i would highly recommend getting a backup set i really don't believe they're an open stock um not that i'm aware of um and it's reasonably priced. I think I paid $64 for this. I mean, for it's 120 pencils, that's not bad. And I would, I would be, I'm willing to pay that for these because I think that these are good enough to, to, to pay that. They have a nice, even selection of, of colors. Um, not you know most of them sharpen decently um so as i said some of them you will burn through them a little fast because the pencils albeit a little thicker i think the core is probably smaller than than it may look um this is kind of should give you an idea of what the core looks like i think that there's a lot of wood and that's why it's kept so you can't see how much is wood and how much is lead uh it's pretty smart really um but having said all that i still would recommend these pencils i really really would um they're really nice and um I mean, this artwork is gorgeous. Now, I've heard a couple stories about their customer service being, eh. Um, I personally can't attest to that. I haven't really dealt with their customer service yet, so I can't say to that. Um, but I really do like, I really do like their pencils. Now, I may do a separate video on the paper that came with this. Um, I got like four different types of paper. <laughs> so, um, one of which I've never heard of. So that should be interesting. But yeah, I think that that is it. Um, I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Um, let me know what you think. I know it's not perfect, but I, I love sharing new things with you guys. And I will catch you guys later. Bye.